Changing this t-shirt was important because branding matters. The application process is exactly how it would be if you are applying for any other degree at any other college. I want to really emphasize that this is not just another online course. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. If you came to watch this video after checking out the title, I'm going to be talking about that. It was not clickbait, so don't worry. So I'm on my way to the gym right now and I thought that I'll just use this time while I'm driving to share some stuff around Masters in Computer Science, but the most affordable program in the US. That also from a really good university. So if you have not watched the video where I talked about which US universities I applied to, please check it out uh, the link will be in the description box below and in that video I shared that I applied to Georgia Tech for an MS in industrial engineering but unfortunately I could not get through and since then I've been working so it's been five years and at some point I started looking at online learning through Udacity Coursera when I came across this really amazing program called OMSCS which stands for Online Masters of Science in Computer Science kept thinking about it for a very very long time and finally in fall 2020 I decided I'd apply for it. The reason for applying was pretty simple. One, as I said, it was my dream university. And the second is computer science in general is quite fascinating. So I wanted to give it a try. I'm not 100% sure if I'll make it through the program, but that did not stop me from applying for it because I had nothing to lose. So I just went ahead, applied for it last year in 2020. Surprisingly, I got an admit from Georgia Tech for a master's in computer science. So I'm in the third semester of the program, but this video is about some information that will be really helpful for anyone who is looking for the cheapest um, maybe the most affordable master's degree that you can get in computer science but before we get started with the information sharing I want you to check one quick thing please see if you have already subscribed to the channel if you have not subscribed to the channel the steps are really simple you just have to hit the button that looks like this just find it on your screen and hit subscribe. So what is OMSCS? A program that's offered by Georgia Tech and as the name says, it's offered completely online. So for most of the courses you're lit for most of the courses you are watching pre-recorded videos and if I'm not wrong there are very few courses where you are actually attending classes live. The entire program is structured exactly how you would get it when you are attending university physically. The only difference is that this course allows you to adjust the courses you take per semester as per your need. So you can actually just register for one course per semester and paste the degree completion according to your convenience so let's say you're a working professional and you do not have all the time to be dedicated towards this degree you can just take one course per semester which is what I am doing and complete the degree in I don't know three years maybe because you have to complete ten courses in total so if you are taking one course per semester every semester which is fall summer and spring you will take at least three years to complete the entire program so let's talk a little about the fee structure because as the title says this is the most affordable or the cheapest program that's available in the US for a masters let's say you are taking just one course per semester which is what I am doing you will be paying around eight hundred and forty one dollars per course and that's tuition fee plus some administrative fees that they collect but if you are registering for multiple courses Courses, the administrative fee also gets divided across those courses so in that case you are paying less so for someone who's taking multiple courses in a semester and when I say multiple you can go up to maximum of three courses per semester which itself is quite adventurous especially if you are a working professional you can get done with this degree in a tuition fee that's somewhere around eight thousand dollars or even less than that so just to put things in perspective when I went to Penn State for masters in industrial engineering I paid $1,441 per credit. So that was around $4,000 per course. If you are taking 10 courses, I can basically get five master's degree in computer science from Georgia Tech for that price. Although I'll never do that. 
it's not as easy as it sounds and we will talk a little more about that but i need to go to the gym and actually try if i can get in because the primary owner of our membership is surbi and she did not come with me today so i need to check if they will let me in and also i cannot really wear this t-shirt and the reason is in the previous video if you have not watched it yet but if you have not watched it i'll save you the effort here's the reason why i cannot wear this t-shirt <laughs> क्विकली चेंज बिफोर वी गेट स्टार्टेड विथ टॉकिंग अबाउट द कोर्स स्ट्रक्चर एंड द एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस back in the OMS CS Georgia Tech t-shirt changing this t-shirt was important because branding matters i was wearing a penn state t-shirt but we are talking about georgia tech so so we were talking about the course structure at georgia tech and as i said you can take basically one course per semester and you have to complete the total of 10 courses for the degree now the courses that you are taking really depends on the specialization that you opt for currently they are offering four specializations machine learning computing systems robotics, robotics and interactive intelligence so depending on which specialization you are opting for which you have to declare when you start the degree you will adjust your course selection accordingly in order to make sure that you meet all the minimum requirements of the specialization so for example you are opting for machine learning specialization you will have to take certain number of credits from the required courses section and that information is available on their website so that's a little bit about the course selection but what does the course really entail so if you have taken any online course let's say on udacity or coursera or any other online learning platform for that matter if you miss out on a deadline you are always allowed to move the deadline and you are always allowed to re enroll into the course so that you can start again and that is really good and it provides a lot of flexibility with oms cs though once you have enrolled for a course you can obviously withdraw from the course if for some reason you do not like it or you are not able to cope up with the load of the course but if you stick with the course there are going to be sometimes weekly deliverables there are going to be some projects that you would have to work on and outside of that you have to attend all the lectures once you are enrolled you have to follow a schedule and if you miss out on one or the other assignment your grades are messed up because they make sure that people who are actually dedicated to completing the course remain in the course through its entire duration and it is quite understandable because the scale at which they are operating is crazy when i started the degree in fall 2020 they had more than 10000 students enrolled with a new batch of 2800 plus students coming in so for resource allocation or management of tas and other things like administrative purposes they have to make sure those who are going to actually make it through the semester are getting served properly so they usually front load the semester what i've seen is the courses will have a lot of heavy lifting in the beginning of the semester so that by the withdrawal deadline people usually get a sense of whether they'll be able to continue or not and drop off and that's what probably the professors are intentionally wanting to do but at the same time you cannot keep withdrawing or skipping semesters you can only take every other semester off you cannot be off for two consecutive semesters so if you have registered in fall you can take this spring off and then re-register in summer for example or if you have taken in spring then you can skip summer and then register for fall there is another not so very popular way of just skipping the entire program and that is by not scoring two b's in the first 12 months of the degree in the first 12 months you have to really make sure that whatever courses you have registered for at least in two of those courses you have secured a grade that is b or bet better than b which is a we will talk a little more about that if anyone is interested please let me know in the comment section if you really want me to do a deep dive on how the courses are structured i'll also probably bring in some other people who have have either completed the course or are 80% through the course to share their perspective on how it has 
worked out for them so a very important thing which probably i should have talked about at the very beginning of the video is the application process the application process is exactly how it would be if you are applying for any other degree at any other college you just go to their online portal and you start applying by clicking on the apply now button but you will require all the same documents and all the same credentials that you need to apply for any university in the us for a masters degree like your statement of purpose you will need three letters of recommendations they have waived gre so you do not really need a gre score to apply for this program or it could be that now that a lot of universities are waiving gre due to covid that's a new change that has happened but even i do not remember sending them my gre scores they do require you to have toefl or ielts unless you have pursued a degree in the us so all i had to do was hit the apply now button upload my statement of purpose upload my lors and i was done with it okay too much talking please take this time to subscribe to the channel i'll just sip some more water and be back so in this video we talked about what is oms cs what does the fee look like what does the course structure look like what is the application process very briefly if there is any other question that you want an answer for please let me know in the comment section below and, and do not hesitate to reach out if you are applying for this program on linkedin on instagram always post in the comment section here that helps with the engagement as well i want to really emphasize that this is not just another on online course you will go through the exact same rigor as you would do when you are physically present in georgia tech and the good thing about this program is if you are able to actually complete this program the degree that you get doesn't really say that you pursued an online course the degree will be exactly how you would get it if you were attending the course in georgia tech in atlanta and you can also attend the graduation ceremony if you want to get your degree handed over to you by the university officials a lot of students in the class that i am enrolled in right now are from all around the world most of them are working professionals so this is an excellent option for anyone who is planning for higher education and for some reason does not want to go to the us and does not want to physically attend and or they are working and they want to just have one course per semester like i am doing and hopefully get through the degree that's pretty much it for this video i'll definitely make sure that i share some more information as i I learn more about the degree leave your questions in the comments also do not forget to like the video please share the video as much as possible with your friends with your family with people who you know are planning for who are planning for higher education lastly do not forget to subscribe to the channel that's the most important thing you need to do whether you pursue this degree or not and keep us motivated to upload more videos surbhi and i are traveling to rocky mountain national park you you will get to see the highlights of that trip as well on this channel so hit the notifications bell icon thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video